Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913 along with Ranger Fan3035. And we're Let's Playing Ninja Turtles Trace. 3. And we have to redo this stage because we died at Shredder. Or we died at the Shredder. So, hopefully we get keep enough lives to make sure. Yeah, we should totally be able to do it now. I don't think it's the last guy, but I do think we faced the other dude. In the well, we'll find out. Oh, but yeah, we figured even if you're. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. We figure we'll just show it. Why the hell not, right? Yeah. This is just for fun. It's not seriousness. Yeah. If we were doing like a speed run or some sort of, you know, no death thingy. I mean, we would have been totally done the first level. But we should have done actually finish lives. Yeah. You know what? That was my bad. I'm sorry. But there is a code for Game Genie that I used to use a while back that was infinite energy and I would just keep using, or no, n um, special moves took no energy and I would just do my, my move like all day. But yeah, look at these robots, huh? I do miss the Game Genies of the world. I know, man. I After miss shooting. The new generations of game systems you can't so use. Like I know you okay, can't use take away cheating. The, that's fine. I don't, I don't, I don't play online, so I go with the online aspect of it. When people are so afraid to cheat online. Then just take away the, once you, if you're cheating in a game or cheating with the cheat system, you take the network access cut off. I'm sure you, there's a way you can write a program for that where you can't network while cheating in the game. Yeah. You can't I just think I just think that but sometimes I think that's the big thing. I think people. They died out because people are so afraid you're gonna cheat online. Yeah. Well, and screw yeah. that. And the trophy system for the PS3 and stuff like that, where you get trophies Xbox and stuff. Xbox stuff too. Yeah. 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 All right, just, let's uh, kill these. Uh, all right. Take, let me get. Take. Gonna get these guys out of here. With my special move. Just take Come away. On. There we go. All right. Just take away the, the trophies. You don't trophies. All right. Watch out for the balls here. Balls yeah. I just. I just think that like. You know, some games, there's some things that are really hard to do, and I think you should be able to cheat. I, I mean, it's I your cheating. system, I and like, I remember always going on, oh, whoops, I remember always going on game facts and then like looking up, sometimes looking up codes way back when, or even now still, and people are like, stop, you know, if you can't play the game without cheating, why are you playing? Well, usually, what I like to do is I like to, uh... I usually like to use them when I play it the second time around, just to like kill the game. Unless I can't, but yeah, that's the way I play. I play it first time I play it, I just kind of play it just to experience the whole game, and then the second time I like to break it, is what people like to call it, by cheating and stuff. Just to see like all the cool things I could have gotten, you know. I like to destroy games. Yeah, I know, it's fun, right? I want to see the ending and destroy the game. Yeah, I know, like, in some games where I'm not very good at, but I've bought it and I really, like, want to play it and have fun, but I can't, like, beat certain things, I like to cheat. Like, sport, like, like sports games. I don't play sports games for the real of the game. The last, the last time I played a hockey game, I put up 600 points in the season. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Alright? 600 points in a single season. That's 200 goals and 300 assists, somewhere around there. Okay? Yeah, that's a lot. That's my a guy, my creative guy, scored more points than Crosby has now. Yeah. Right? He's been in the league for like four years. But yeah, I do miss cheating in video games. Because let me tell you, if the Nintendo... If the Nintendo Entertainment System did not have a cheating system, there would have been a ton of games that would have never, ever, ever been beaten. Because they're just too hard and you can't beat them without Game Genie. Unless you play and play and play and play and you become like a god on the game otherwise in which you might have wasted a lot of time. But yeah, um, I just think, I, I personally am pro, <laughs> I know this is going to sound funny, but I'm pro cheating. And I'm not saying cheating, like, let, let's take an example that, of, a, of a thing that I used to or of a game I used to cheat at, because there was a certain point in the game that I hate, hate, hated. And that would be Grand Theft, I think Grand Theft Auto, where you have to do, like, racing. Oh, and, God, and, yeah. And, and like, have, the whole series from the And have to, you have to race and get to a certain, 
and you're racing a bunch of other cars through a city and, and shit. It's timed. Yeah, and it's timed. Oh man, I just I always cheated to make sure that I was like in the beginning or like or number one. It just was really bad. And yeah. That's probably why I like you know like those cheating things. Two things I got that killed Grand Theft Auto for me. The first one was the best because it was just the right size of big. Yeah. And the, the Vice City just got too big for me. Yeah, and you then, know what? And because then by, by the other ones, it was the cities were humongous and it was like, mm -hmm. I, got, I would get lost driving around. I know I sound stupid. That must show my shitty gear maybe, but it just wasn't fun. Yeah, I can see where you're going. Like, the, this, the first one was really good. Plus, I mean, we live near New York, and we kind of know how to navigate it pretty well. So, it's, you know, um, you know, it's easier to navigate and stuff. And then, when, when they did it, the, the second one, and they based it off of Miami, that really, like, screwed me up, because I couldn't navigate through Miami. Don't get me wrong, the story was pretty cool, and the gameplay, they added night some good stuff, but I was like, mm, I don't know if I... Yeah, the second one was probably the last one. Well, I played played San Andreas, but... This can't be the last stage, right? I don't know. It's only six stages. We could get warped back in time like Turtles in Time. We could get warped back in time. I don't think so, either. First Turtles in Time. Yeah. Yeah, we fight Shredder and we gotta throw stuff out. We fight Crank, though. I don't know if we fight Crank. See? See, I don't know what. the wrong guy and shit. Yeah, Michelangelo's move stinks, man. I need to do that. Yeah, so I would have to say pro cheating all the way. No, it's not like being pro abortion. <laughs> Who the hell is. Well, I don't know. I don't care, man. I want I want to beat a game. Sometimes I can't beat a game because I'm not good at it. Uh oh. Did you just win by yourself and I can't even pick things? Make out with April. <laughs> like the princess. I think Michelangelo wanted to make out with her the most, anyways. Thank you. Look. What? What? Isn't that crank spaceship yes. above Manhattan Island? Yeah, it is. Shredder's still alive. He's getting away. But at least we saved April. Oh, I don't even get any. Sorry. Ah, oh, bullshit. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. We can't let Shredder get away. Go to giant elevator. Right? Oh, shoot. Yeah, there is a lot more levels. I just remember there's a rooftop level. Oh, really? We're in an elevator that's going to take us to a spaceship. Really? Yeah. Where in New York is this elevator? I don't know this. I don't know where there's an outside of it. Oh, crud. I knew that was there. And I still got murdered. Yeah, but I don't know if there's an outside elevator like this. I don't, well, no, I, I know. Well, obviously, an outside elevator without any walls is just pure madness, but. Oh, God! But, uh, I know outside elevators do exist like this. You know what this reminds me of? Shinra Mansion. What the hell am I getting both buttons for? Yes. Shinra, uh, thing with all those elevators that I have. Final Fantasy VII. Look, there's the Twin Towers back there. Oh my god. And we obviously not on the Empire. This could be either A, the Chrysler building. I think that's supposed to be the Empire State Empire. building. But there's a Twin Tower right there. So yeah. One. Tower 1, Tower 2. Tower look, two. look at that. You're just standing next to the towers and no, towers. no harm is coming no to you at all. all. The Invincible Towers. Uh-oh. All because, you know, Spider-Man had to take that scene out. I know, be, man. That would have been the best. That's most retarded thing I've ever heard. I know. Because they're going to take it out. That's just the, the, the other people. You, yeah, you, you just let the terrorists win by, uh... Taking them out of the movie. By taking the Twin Towers out of the movie. Looks like we're on the top now. Oh, slow down. Slow down. Twin Towers. Now we're on top of a building. Maybe the Chrysler Bill. I don't know what the hell. 
All right. Here we are on top of a giant building. Oh, I was about to say, my score won't go up. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. So yeah, um... I don't really know what else to say. I've come pretty much use up all my material here. Even though I don't really have like pro cheat. Yeah, I'm pro cheating. I don't know how ninjas and samurai or ninjas can be also samurais. That's an odd one. Back to the Future. Actually, you know what? They actually came out with a new Back to the Future game. And you remember how bad the the uh, one for the NES? Uh, I guess just recently. I don't know. I don't know if it's a downloadable kind of game or on on the new systems on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Really? Yeah. And I don't know if it. I I think I think they got. What the hell with these guys and these lasers? Jeez. There we go, you got a level. Alright, now I need to get a life. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, so they... Supposedly they came out with a new Back to the Future game. And, uh... It's for the new generations, and maybe it'll be good. I don't know if you remember the old... The old the old Back to the Future game, but I did a Let's Play on it and it was bad. You did a Let's Play on it? Yeah, I did. I used cheating as well, because I was like, I'll never be able to beat this game otherwise. Aw, oh, shoot. I need to get some kills, quick. I gotta reach 10 Gs. Like no one's business. Oh, come on. There we go. You're gonna have so dude, you have so many lives. Holy oh, crud. Holy crud. Oh, freaking lasers. The sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. Are they are they uh are they what's the word? Are they irritable sea bass? That's what it was. Oh, you bastards! I almost got a knife. Yay! I did it! Alright. Damn it! What's that, like three in a row? Jeez. I know there's a sign up here. If you jump on it, you get shot. What the hell is this? But yeah, new Back to the Future game. I like the Scott game. The Scott Pilgrim game was probably one of the best downloadable games of this of this year. I'd have to admit that. The only flaw, the only flaw I could see with it was no online play. In case you wanted to play with your friends or something. That would have been the best. And now that, just in case people don't know, now that the Scott Pilgrim movie is out on DVD, you can actually you can actually go back on if you've already played it and buy go get knives. and buy knives. I think it's for like two bucks. Yeah, it's like you get two a couple bucks. Extra games. You get a couple extra cool games. I would suggest if you like that game to get it because it's pretty cool. I bought this. Yeah, knives is cool. I the game too. Nice. What was her ending? I got it. She married Scott. Aww. Look at that. So yeah, Scott Pilgrim was a, was a pretty sweet movie and game and manga. My only complaint was that uh, everyone turned out to be gay, like everybody, <laughs> which is fine. But yeah, it's like, damn, everybody is everybody gay. That's what I was saying. It's like, is everybody gay? Hey, right, can you take these guys out? Ah, screw it. More? Yeah, but now you got one energy. Just use that. Just use your ability. You got one energy. You can... Oh yeah. 
There we go. Bring on the damn last... Bring on the boss. Damn it. This is it. This is it for Petey. Well, actually... If we can make it to the next level, we'll be sweet. Just die already. There we go. Now we fight the other guy. There he is. He does have a shield. Taka and Reza, I think their names were. Taka and Tanaka. Taka and Tanaka. I'm done. No, I think it was something and Reza. There you go. Whoa, did I just steal one of your lights? Hey, that's neat. Sorry for stealing it, but let's do. Let's just get out of this friggin' level. Look at that, you got in just before it was just all time. over. Hey. And we're gonna follow Shredder. Who just casually walks away. He's warped. And he's warped like Star Why don't you really shut that off? Holy crud. We are way over time. Well, not way over, but. Now we are in the next level, which I believe is the final level of the game. Scene 8. Cowabunga! We have to hurt her in order to stop Shredder and save Manhattan. But you know what we're going to do? We're probably just going to die and then just start over with more lives in the next episode. This has been Kenshin1913 along with Ranger Fan3035. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.